AP has just said that uh, Democrats will con retain control of the Senate. Republicans will yeah. retain control of the House. Um, just wanted to, to let people know that that had been decided. Um, the type of campaign that Mitt Romney ran, um, what do you make of it? I would say uh, two big mistakes. Uh, mm -hmm. We mentioned, uh, Mary mentioned uh, Bain Capital. Uh, if you're going to run as a uh, financier right after a uh, financial crisis, I think you've got to be ready to deal with that baggage. And Bain Capital was a unmitigated business success. I don't know why Mr. Romney often uh, seemed reluctant to defend it and, and show uh, the virtues of it. But uh, I also think uh, you look at the exit polling, it's very clear, uh, and this goes to the question of how could a guy like President Obama, any president, get reelected with unemployment this high? Yeah. He convinced people that it's all Bush's fault. And I think yes. uh, people yeah. on the right kind of laughed about it. What a complainer, mm -hmm. what a loser attitude. Mm -hmm. But it obviously worked to mm -hmm. a great extent yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that people uh, mm -hmm. yeah think that uh, yeah. it wasn't his fault and yeah. that uh, he also yeah. persuaded yeah. some people that Romney was going to do what Bush had done and, uh, and Romney the, the didn't rebut thing, that. The other thing I think that Obama did that I don't think anyone would have imagined he would stoop to this level is his playing of the race card. He sent out the Attorney General of the United States and the Vice President to say that the other side is trying to disenfranchise black voters. I mean the audacity of a sitting black president saying that about the other party is, I just couldn't believe. Except, he Jason, did this. yeah, I, I do think that that was poisonous. On the other hand, I think that the Hispanic vote mm -hmm. tipped um, yeah. the, 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 the scales in, yeah. in President Obama's favor, yeah. and mm -hmm. I think the Republicans. Uh, in the primary particularly, put out a message that they mm -hmm. basically don't like Hispanics. I mean, yeah. all of them yeah. talked about building a wall across yeah. the southern border. Yeah. And yeah. I think you have some Hispanics in the party, like Marco Rubio and others, mm -hmm. who have been able to make the distinction to mm -hmm. say, look, we want immigration in this country, right. and we want to find a way to fix the INS. Yeah. And that's the message that they yeah. should have been sending, and yeah. I think that was a big mistake. James, that gets to a point, uh, another point I, I want to ask you about, which is, if Republicans could not defeat the president in this economy with unemployment this high, with economic growth this this uh, this uh, 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 low, um, can the current Republican coalition still win presidential elections? Well, I think you uh, you would have to say I, I think you could argue yes for a couple of reasons. One is uh, I think it may be tempting to say uh, Republicans. Uh, uh, or conservatives' uh, ideas have been defeated. Um, uh, Barack Obama, obviously, very explicit about wanting a bigger government role in uh, in yeah. society generally. But uh, uh, Mr. Romney is kind of a part of a recent series where, when Republicans choose the more moderate, seemingly electable candidate uh, uh, for Dole, McCain, right. Romney. Um, yeah. They, they tend to lose. Uh, I, I also think uh, if you're in the House, mm -hmm. what you're seeing is the American people saying, Republican House, like what you're doing, mm -hmm. keep going. This was the uh, center of opposition to the president. Mm -hmm. uh, they have, uh, to the extent he has a mandate, they have a mandate. Uh, mm -hmm. They may, uh, unlike him, actually mm -hmm. expand their yeah. their majority. I, and I, so, Yeah, I think it's yeah. very important yeah. to remember that you know, the presidency in this country is not a dictatorship. It's right, not, right, he's yeah. not the emperor. There are three right. branches of government, and now's the time that the loyal opposition has to, you know, stand up and, and represent what is nearly half the country that objects to the president's policies. Yeah, and I, I think his agenda will include expanding government, trying to increase taxes. Um, that's what we're going to see. Uh, more of in the next four years, and and yes, I know we know uh, we're still going to have a divided Congress, and uh, I do wonder what the Republicans in Congress, what their reaction will be to this um, to this election, and whether they will feel a need to compromise um, uh, their principles uh, in order to get things done, um, because I don't see. Obama compromising. I mean, he didn't do it after the 2010 So maybe four more years of gridlock. <laughs> yeah. Think, and will I, there be pressure on Republicans to, to bend? Uh, you, you might think so, but there's re there's pressure coming from their voters who just told them today, and especially the 100-plus uh, members of kind of the Tea Party class of 2010 who, yeah. you know, largely or entirely mm -hmm. were reelected. Yeah. There's a pressure from voters saying, yeah. go back there and fight this uh, yeah. expansion of uh, spending and debt.
Yeah, yeah. And you know, uh, Jason, the if the president continues with what he's done in the first four years, the economy's not going to get better. So in a way, he's going to have to live yeah. with what he, the mess he made in the first four years. I think there's a certain kind of justice to that. Well, uh, the question, I mean, can he, how long can the blame Bush thing go? Right. I mean, right. can he actually carry this you know, yeah. well into a second term. Yeah. It, you, yeah. Now, he's been reelected, mm, but yeah. I think if he mm. needs yeah. some improvement yeah. here, yeah. or else he's going to be yeah. leaving office with 20% approval, I, right? I think Republicans can also take some comfort in knowing um, they seem to have a pretty good bench, a deep bench, a lot of young guys. You mentioned Marco Rubio coming along. I think Paul Ryan's got, got a future. There are some other Republicans out there, some good governors out there. Well, uh, it might have gotten Bobby shorter Jindal. with people angry at Chris Christie, <laughs> that, that bench of uh, Republicans. Uh, yeah, he's shorting the bench during the playoffs, that. and uh, they might yeah. decide that coming into 2016. I don't know. Okay, okay. As we said, though, no, no concession speeches so far, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But thank you both.